Amazing statistics on texting while driving you may find surprising. Cutting the cord on cable television? Is this really happening? And a very special 3D printer you must know about. It's like, whoa! It's April 5th, Daria here, and this is the Redhead Geek Show. <laughs> So remember last week when I was talking about those Google glasses disrupting driving behavior? Well, guess what I just read? Adults text more than teens. What? Why is this, you ask? Well, at first I was really surprised to hear that statistic, but you know, naturally, once you read a little more, you start to understand. Take this as seriously as you want, guys, but it's pretty scurry. That means pretty scary. A survey conducted by AT&T showed that 50% of adult drivers not only admit to texting while driving, but 98% said they know for a fact that it is unsafe to do. Now, only 43% of teens admitted to the same bad habit. Hmm. Now, honestly, what comes to mind, you know, in the dome up here is why? What is their reasoning? Habit, boredom, fun, the urge to walk? Uh, drive on the wild side? Turns out 43% said it was a habit, 22% said they like to stay connected, and 18% said it makes them feel more productive. Let's look at this deeper. Habit? Yes. The longer we have these smartphones, the more the urge to use while driving. Remind anyone of that habit. Um, what's it called? Smoking. Everyone knows it's bad, but they do it anyway. But guess what? The repercussions of texting while driving would result in tragedy a lot quicker than the process of smoking related to damaged health. Here comes my thoughts. Adult implies maturity, right? It's like, whoa. However, in the day and age we live in, adults rely on their phones for work, emails, GPS, getting in touch with the kids, the husband, boss, etc. People, we know the consequences of this, and it's not just like if you don't text while you drive doesn't mean you couldn't get hurt by someone else doing it. Kind of like drunk driving? In a nutshell, adults, parents, how are your kids going to follow in your footsteps if you don't set the right example? I mean, looking down at this text right here is about the same amount of time as driving the length of a football field at 55 miles an hour. Huh? Yep. My next topic is so exciting. So exciting. I'm not gonna tell you about it yet. <laughs> First, what I will tell you is why it might be time to cut the cable out of our lives. What? No, please. It will be okay, people, I promise. Cable guy. Cable and satellite are the kings of delivering us television content in this country. So why, you ask, why would we consider to not use them anymore? Because they're really expensive. So expensive. And when you actually do the math, your brain might explode. I mean, with the 81.8% of Americans who have either cable or satellite in their homes, they are both on the decline. The drop is actually due to what is called cord cutters. People who give up on their TVs and rely on other devices to stream their favorite television content. I do this, because I know you care about what I do. I use Netflix Instant and Disc, along with Hulu or Hulu Plus. They do wonders for me. In fact, when I actually did cut the cord for a while, I didn't really miss commercials or surfing very much. I mean, if you really think about it, how many shows are you actually in love with and can't live without? If you're anything like me, probably like a zillion, but count which ones you still can watch without paying for cable. Say you like Breaking Bad. Ha, huh, whoever remembers what that show's about anyway. I am the one who knocks. This awesome thing called Amazon Instant Video that I just heard about, you can purchase this season for a whopping 22 bucks. Okay, lastly, I can't make you wait anymore, but it was so much fun. Have you folks heard about the biggest and latest 3D printer? The Gigabot, a 3D printer project by RE3D. It's huge in so many ways, and guess what I just learned? It's an Austin-based company. So are we. Yeah? This is a Kickstarter project to launch this amazing, affordable, large format 3D printer for your home or office. It can make beautiful, large printed projects. We plan on printing a guitar because guess what? We're getting one. That's right, Parts People President, <coughs> my brother, is one of the backers for the project and we will be getting one of these bad boys soon. I can't wait to show you how they work in person, but for now here's a little bit of info. One of RE3D's visions is to solve big problems by taking a bigger view. And with the opportunity to print larger projects means we will be able to replace a lot of expensive made items with plastic made ones. You know what's cool? The Gigabot has a build volume that is unheard of among desktop 3D printers, as of now. Cool! 
company is really awesome because what they want to actually do is create water collection barrels, composting toilets, and things for agricultural use. It's part of their social enterprise work. It was originally designed for developing countries, but now a kickstarting project for the whole world to be able to use. I mean, isn't that nice of them? And look how beautiful some of their projects are so far. I want one of those vases. Vases? Vases? These folks have nearly 40 years of combined experience in manufacturing and engineering. They're kind of like smarty pants or whatever. They know what they are doing. So if you're interested in backing or just learning more, please visit their site. It's called re3d.org as seen below. So here's where I ask you to do stuff. Haha. <laughs> do you think teens text and drive less because they see all those ad campaigns and it kind of gets to them? Do you think it doesn't apply to adults? Or do adults not think it applies to them? Also, how many of you actually use cable TV anymore? Have any of you cut the cord already? Do you think you could rely on just those TV services to stream all of your favorite shows? Huh? Tell me, please, tell me. Also, getting excited about the Gigabot? You should. Anything you want us to print to show on camera once it arrives? You'll have to leave comments below to tell me. Down here. Thank you for watching.